I am a volunteer attorney with the Office of the Child Advocate. I have been doing that since 2004, so I'm now in my 16th year. Um, the Office of the Child Advocate was formed a little bit before then so that attorneys could be advocates for children, uh, particularly in cases involving uh, dependency and neglect. The very first representation that I had as a pro bono attorney with the Office of Child Advocate was for an eight-year-old eight whose mother had uh, abandoned him in a motel in Delaware, having come up from North Carolina. He was placed into care and I was asked to serve as his counsel. This was around March. I determined immediately that the best thing for this child would be to get him back to North Carolina in the company of family, somebody who could be uh, a responsible adult on his behalf, because otherwise he would be in the foster care system in Delaware with no connections to Delaware. And once he got into that, it'd be harder to get him back to North Carolina. And so we were successful in being able to do that. We had him placed ultimately with his grandmother who came up from North Carolina to testify at the hearing and the judge approved her as, the, as, the, as being his his, uh, guardian and um, I'm pleased to say I kept in touch with him ever since he graduated from high school he graduated from college and is pursuing a career in communications as a sports uh, journalist so that is a very satisfying experience um, and I'm pleased to have been able to help him and pleased to be able to have uh, that relationship which I never would have had but for service as a pro bono attorney I think pro bono work is important. We have to start with the proposition that being a lawyer is a privilege. And as lawyers in the state of Delaware and in these United States, we have the privilege of upholding the rule of law on behalf of clients. In the absence of the rule of law, a free society really doesn't function. And because we have the privilege of participating in the rule of law and facilitating the rule of law for our clients, it is important that we do what we can to make sure that the rule of law is meaningful, not just for those with the most, but for the least among us. And so for poor people, for children who otherwise would not have the resources to be represented, um, it's the obligation of attorneys, in my opinion, to do what they can to make real equal justice under the law.